This video demonstrates the remote shack, remote controlling, and ICOM IC7600. Let's go ahead and give the remote shack a call. Into your passcode. The remote shack can be programmed to answer on any number of rings. It's also passcode protected for unauthorized use. Welcome. Advanced. Remote face ready. VFOA 7-1-9-8-1 LSB. Receive. Right after you log on, you'll immediately hear your receive station, whatever your last frequency that you had on your remote was set to. From receive menu number one, which is the default menu, uh, you can scan the bands and also set memories. So from here, we can uh, also fine tune as well. So if we wanted to scan up or down fast, we would hit keys three or six for fast. It's fast up and then fast down. When we hear a station, we could hit the zero and that will stop. If we want to fine tune the station, we have 100 hertz and 500 hertz with keys 1 and 4 and 8 and 0. By pressing those keys, this will fine tune us in. Once you get the uh, station tuned, you can then put them in memory by pressing 7, press two more digits for the memory number. So let's put him in uh, memory number 25. Memory set. You can see here, memory set to 25. Then we can continue to scan the band. If we come across another station, uh, we can stop on that station. If that was another station that we wanted, we can then put that station in memory. And we can continue to fine tune them in if we want to. Once we have a, decided we want to put another station in memory, we can go 7 and then the memory number again. Memory set. To 30. And then at any point in time we press 9 followed by the two digits to recall the memory. So we'll go back to our original station that we set. CFOA 7 1 9 8 3 LSB. Okay. So that's the menu, receive menu number 1. And that basically shows uh, most of the receive functions. I'm going to go ahead and turn down the uh, receive audio a little bit so I can show you a little bit more of the functions. Let's go to antenna menu, menu number two. Antenna. From here, we can switch antennas. Right now, we're on antenna two. I'm going to go to antenna one by key number antenna one. Antenna one. Okay. We can also uh, take our tuner, uh, control our tuner, uh, put it in or out, and also tune the antenna. So let's go ahead, uh, and that's with keys 3, 6, and 9. So let's go ahead and press the uh, 3, and you'll see that our tuner will come in here. Tuner in. Okay, and our tuner light comes on. And then uh, we can also take the tuner out. Tuner out. And we can also force it to tune the, band, tune the antenna. Tuning, please wait. From this menu, we also have the ability to rotate our beam. If you have the rotator kit, which comes with a splitting cable that allows you to control both your radio and your rotor, and it also comes with an auxiliary cable uh, that allows you to control the dry relay. There's one dry relay inside the remote shack that you can use to turn on and off an amplifier, a radio, or, or other. And that's located on keys 7 and 8. Auxiliary 1 on. Auxiliary one off. If you want to rotate your antenna, right now as you can see, we are on about 300 degrees. We'll go back to due north uh, at 360 degrees. We'll pick our antenna, which is antenna number one, and then we'll go to 360 degrees. Rotating to 360 degrees. At any point along the way, if we want to stop the antenna, we can press zero. Stop immediately stop. Uh, menu number three, filter menu, after you have 
tuned the station in, rotated your beam, brought up signal strength. Now you can apply a filter. We'll go into filter mode, number three. Filter. From here, you have uh, attenuator. Attenuator on. Preamp. Preamp on. Noise blanker, you'll see here. Noise blanker on. Let's turn up the audio so you can hear it on the cell phone. No, uh, let's see, noise reduction, key number four. Noise reduction on. And the auto notch. Auto notch Rotated. on. If you press zero, zero, it will turn all of these functions off in one shot. All filters off. If you want to change your mode, this is the menu you do it. You press six, followed by one through five. LSB. AM and FM CW and CW FM We'll go back to lower sideband LSB In addition, key 7, 8, and 9 support narrow, medium, and wide uh, bandwidth. So if we hit the 7 narrow you can see our bandwidth just changed here, and we can go to 8, medium. widen it up a little bit to medium, and then full width, Wide. all the way to 3 kilohertz. After we've applied all the filters and got our signal sounding the way we want, and we decide we want it to transmit, we can go into transmit menu. Transmit. From here, if you press number 1, you'll be transmitting, and key number 0 will be unreceive. Okay. I will tune away from these gentlemen here that are on the air right now. Find a clear spot Stop. to just transmit for a moment. Transmit. Press the one to transmit, zero to unkey. <laughs> okay. Uh, so that's basically your transmit function. You also have uh, two to two. Compressor Speech on. compressor on. I'm going to turn down the audio here so you can hear the command list. You can turn your, you can set a tone frequency. You can turn your split on from here. Split on. Okay. Um, you can also turn your shift on, plus, minus, or simplex if you had a rig with VHF and UHF. You can also set your power by pressing 9, followed by 1 through 4. RF power at 25%. 25, 50, 75. RF power at 50%. And full power, 9, 4. Full power. There's the settings menu. Okay, that's menu number 5. Settings. And that allows you to set such things as whether your your license level, general, advanced, or extra. Extra. What this does is, is it'll, uh, there's a a chart inside the remote shack that knows which frequencies are the edge of the bands for your license level and if you're scanning it won't let you out of those band edges it will recycle uh, back to the beginning of the band and uh, start all over again uh, so to keep you in band so it's basically a set and forget you can also set your password from here into your passcode if you want a new password you entered one Two, three, four. Is this correct? Press one for yes or zero for no. Let me make that Setting. correct. You can also set your number of rings. I'm going to set this to. I just asked the, the frequency. Seven, two, zero, four, zero. LSB. Hit the star instead of the seven. I hit seven one. Number of rings set. And we set the rings to one. <clears throat> You can also set the volume up or down for the voice over the phone. Eight is up, zero is down. And that concludes all the features uh, for the remote check controlling the IC7600. When you're done with the call, just press star pound and it shuts down everything, the radio and the remote check. Goodbye.